So I came up the hill, right? And that is really, really nice. They may have been planting in there. And looking across the way, holy mackerel, we're gonna see something the size of we've never seen before. Let's do this. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. That is a dead snake. Well, maybe not dead, but he don't look good. Yeah, right there, buddy? Yeah, poor thing, he was moving a little bit. Well, unfortunate, but can't hang out in the roads. I guess that's what I'm doing. Anyways, as you saw, we go from the paved roads to the dirt roads to the deserted roads. And as usual, we're gonna go exploring, looking for old home sites, 1700s, 1800s. I've gotta get out about a mile and a half, 30 minute walk to the area that I want to check beyond where we've been. This area is, it's been deserted a long time. It hit its peak in about the 1820s, and by, say, the Civil War, most people were gone. So call it a 150 to 200 years, these old farmlands have been deserted. So my plan today is to go from the paved road to the dirt road to the old road to the wagon roads the car paths we're going to go out beyond where i had found that site recently where all the old copper 1700s coins were coming out of the ground it intrigues me out here most of these people lived here until the peak of the you know early 1800s but off in the distances distance distances it's multiples there were people before that you know and the land was bad they didn't last long might have moved up here either way we're gonna go out to that site and go investigate further and of course, bring the detector. So maybe we'll find something, maybe we won't. See you shortly. Okay, starting point. Colonial cellar hole, colonial yard, and down there the colonial cart path. So, really no idea what's out there. Hopefully we can uh, branch off of the cart path at the bottom. Because this is what brought me down here in the first place. So basically we were way up there. We walked in on the dirt road a mile, came in half a mile. Uh, the original course goes out that way and branches up, but I took a little shortcut. And that's the unknown that I want to know about. So. Here we go. Oh, not too far back off. Or out from that home site we just left. There is wall. Try to figure out what they were doing out here. That's interesting. I'm walking into 
call this a cleared area but I'm looking at big rocks thinking well they weren't trying to clear it and then I saw this beauty that's a nicely done pile of field stones but other than that it don't look don't look like it was farmed so you know I'm breaking on and off of this logging road and I say it so many times about how everybody always follows the path of least resistance look what's beside it a cart path no doubt about it where the hell does it go huh and you know you guys have seen before in the past sometimes these logging roads although beat and smashed in they were just following the cart paths that is interesting okay we are getting somewhere that is a mighty healthy wall lots of clearing still rocky and lumpy in here but somebody was doing things out here a long time ago crazy to think that these have been sitting here probably for 200 years so mm, we'll move that one just a little bit I want to be part of the process Well, let's see if we can find some good ground around here. This is definitely, definitely intriguing. As I climb up on the wall, that is, oh, well, probably at the base six feet wide, five on top. This was being fed from both sides. By the way, it's built. Man, this thing's huge. But looks like sheep country to me geez if they had to clear that much just for sheep how bad was it to begin with so I came up the hill right and that is really really nice they may have been planting in there and looking across the way holy mackerel we're gonna see something the size of we've never seen before if that is a pile of field stones and not a barn foundation, <laughs> that's the biggest one I've seen yet. Have some big rocks, right? Huh. It's not a barn. Wow. Yeah, check out the other side. So if you look closely, there's a pre-existing ledge right here that they built on top of. Oof. And essentially, they were trying to backfill it. Wow. See, these are the cool things in New Hampshire you find out in the backwoods. When you get off course. Jeez, it, it almost kind of makes a statement. It's tall. It's rounded. It's clean. I well, figured I'd turn it on. So far the ground has been quiet. A little bit of nail iron here and there. So first thing I saw was the scat. Second thing I saw was the antler. That is the surface find of the day. Look at that thing. 
see, and this is what makes a good, fun day of exploring. The things we see, the things we incidentally find. So, I'm gonna just keep exploring all these squares out here because they're, they're huge and I can't believe the amount of rocks they moved, although it doesn't appear that they were actually planting anything. And I'm gonna make my way back to a cellar hole that I haven't been to in a while. Maybe do a little digging, maybe we'll find something, maybe not. Either way, there's a lot out here to explore. Well, we have landed at a cellar hole. Been to before. It's hit constantly, I'm sure. Uh, but we'll give it a go around. I'm glad I went and hiked out there because I learned more about the bigger picture. So there's a couple holes down here up into the late 1800s. The one over there, that's what all of that rock structure stone wall stuff was associated with no doubt because i just broke off from that over to here and then our colonial hidden site which didn't have much around it is you know way down off the hill so i'm glad i got to see what the surroundings were of that hidden colonial site all right Let's see what happens. Shotgun shell. New projectile still inside. Well, that's peculiar enough to look into. Flashing. Seventy-five. Give the chimney stack a go. Well, that can't be good, nothing else has been. But in reality, finding things was not my primary objective today, so it doesn't matter. This place has been hit hard. As in, you know, what you've seen are the best signals, or only signals. Yeah, more sheet metal. So no kidding, I stood up, moved over a little bit, got the same signal. I actually got a piece of a relic. It's the tip of a, looks like pewter. A spoon bowl. Sounded just like the last one, but I'm like, you know what, just dig it. And we scored. So I'm just skirting around the footprint here and there's uh, things lying around. I did dig something. It's just a casing, but it goes to show that there are still good signals in here. And that's why, you know, I take the chance at these pounded out sites because there's still signals here. Nothing, you know, award winning, but still. All right, a few more minutes because I'm almost out of time. Last one. Not a bad way to end the day. I checked my watch. I did over three miles on that uh, walk around, you know, from the time I left the vehicle to getting to the cellar hole here. So that was great. And then getting to spend some time at a cellar hole. Well-rounded day. Awfully shiny. Hmm. I have no idea what that was. But it's got a little hole in it. It's ringing up high. No idea. Good piece of metal. Was something. I thought it was silver at first, but it's definitely not. But it is what it is. That's it. I'm leaving you here. I still have to hike all the way back out, but 
I appreciate you joining me for the excursion. Going out way, way out there to see those big squares and that massive rock build. Man, that took some blood, sweat, and fingertips, I'm sure. And I get to go home with an antler in my backpack, so <laughs> a winning day. All right, get out and explore your world. If you live in an area that's got old ground, just go out and walk around. Bring your detector. Who knows, you might find something, you might not. But either way, you're going to have a good day. All right, enjoy your not Thursday.